I was intimidated when I turned the corner. It's just a big TP burner. I was just beside myself. No way. And I turned around, went back, and then my dad says, I'll go with you. So he come down and they hired me right off. Never, no messing around. He just said, yep, you can start at 2.15. Stayed in the garage till 1967. And I was working on uh, bulldozers, cranes, cable cranes, tractor trailers until I went salary. The first thing is, if, if you're a shift millwright, you set up, you start up the equipment, help starting up the equipment that, that runs for the mill, and then keep it running through the course of the day. You uh, An operator has a problem, report to the operator, find out what the problem is, take care of it. That's the shift millwright. You know, he's got to be on his toes and understand the mechanics. I think it's, it's ongoing, mostly on the job. If you've got a, a mechanical ability and, and you come here to be hired as a millwright or into any sawmill to be hired as a millwright, you walk in the door and you're going to be horrified. It's going to be intimidating. And that's the thing. I mean, if you've got a mechanical ability, you can take care of the job ongoing, on the job training. It's, everything is different. Today you could be doing this, t tomorrow you'll be doing something else. I, I learned even here, and I'd been at it for, what, 35 years, and I still learn. So you learn every day. And uh, it's like I say, I had a good time here, I had fun. Not after I got my feet wet, no. I enjoy it, and I've been retired for four or five years, and I'm still working. <laughs> so. I enjoy it. I just I fell into it. I mean, it's automatic. I don't know why not. It's quite. I, a, I think it's great. I think it's great. I just know a little bit about everything. I mean, you got to be able to do a little bit of everything. You know, especially in a sawmill, mm -hmm. and and you can't do it all. In six months. No, 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 five years, four or five years. I'm serious. You, know, you can say you're a millwright, you know, but the minute you walk in the building, holy smokes, it's intimidating, especially the sawmill at Pinkham's back then. It was the biggest one this side of Mississippi. 50 years. And it's been great, a good 50 years. Uh, I really don't know if I would change anything. I, and it's not like I, I end up not knowing something, because that happens. That would happen. Family. It's really family, you know, because we, we just work together. And uh, I'll tell you one thing. When I was told to leave like Pinkham's, it was hard. I just had a blast. I mean, it was fun. They, you know, I said, listen, there's some things physically I can't do. And they said, well, don't worry about it. We'll help you. And sure enough, I'd get help and I had a good time. I had a good time with these people.